Hey, welcome back on this video where we will tackle the hands on number seven. We are still playing with Imagey and we are requested to open an image called Morpho. Let's see if this one. And um, after we have opened the image, so our question is to uh, look at the edges of the image. Let's maybe duplicate it because we will do it several times. And we select one of these two images and we find edges which corresponds to the equation uh, corresponding to the gradient uh, computation of the gradient so derivative in x and y and summation of the of, of the two uh, of these uh, images so it's accessible in a single click here and um, uh, if, what if uh, we take the same image and now we add noise to this so if there was a little bit of noise now it's visible that we have added some noise here and now if we want to process the edges again we'll see that these edges are very very uh, spoiled by the um, uh, by the, the, the noise so here I can still, when I'm in the image itself, I can still see and count the object, but uh, and I can maybe figure out the, the 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 shape of the object. But when I compute the the gradient, somehow I completely lose the information because uh, my eyes were more focused on regions than on edges themselves. So the, these edges are in fact no more there. So it really illustrates what I have been uh, explaining during the, the the course itself uh, so detect edges in the noisy image with find edges so this is what we have done and so this is not uh, 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 very efficient so in this case when images are noisy if we want to find the edges we first need to uh, smooth them since we had a gaussian noise maybe we're going to smooth them with this so here, uh, before, um, so far, we, we just put uh, the, the radius of the small image in, as uh, it was uh, indicated in the um, in, in the course or, or in the end zone. Here, we're going to see how we can rationalize the choice of, uh, uh, of this. So let's pick up our uh, uh, ruler here and try to measure. So it says that the typical diameter of uh, the smallest object, so this kind of object, is something like 22, 25, okay, uh, pixel. So we said that we, if we want to uh, denoise the most efficiently, we would have to pick up a dimension which is much smaller than the size of the object itself. So let's say that if we have something which is 25, maybe maximum value we would have is uh, uh, 10 times smaller, uh, than the size of the object itself. Let's have a preview. And yes, okay, we still keep the object while really denoising the, the whole image. Okay, great. So now let's uh, find edges again. And we see that, okay, now we have edges which are not as uh, 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 highlighted as in the original image. Of course, there's an effect, still an effect of the noise, but still we have the edges which are correctly enhanced. And uh, so when the images are noisy, please be aware that the noise will perturbate a lot uh, the detection of edges and that it can be very useful to have a denoising before. Let's do the same here. Uh, we duplicate this image of our bet. Let's process edges. Uh, here we see that we have edges everywhere, but also uh, edges uh, around. So um, uh, maybe it could be interesting to first have a denoising. Also, we have spurious uh, dots inside the, the ground. And we, we know that when we have spurious dots, it should make us think of this impulsive noise that we have already encountered for synthetic noise. But here it's, uh, you can somehow model this uh, uh, so small stones or sm white uh, objects, or brighter objects on the on the soil as spurious noise that we could remove with median filter, of course. Okay, so we are asking asked to uh, send a radius. I should measure 
the smallest object I would like to preserve, let's say this is a small leaf here, and it measures something like 65, uh, it's, it's measuring 65 uh, pixel. Maybe I would like also to preserve this special, which is something like eight, so uh, rather, let's say 10. Uh, so let's say that I, this is a type of order of magnitude that I should have in mind when I'm requested to, uh, okay, denoise here, uh, when I, I would like to denoise my image. So filter, median, what if we put some 65, what if we put something like 6.5 and see what is the result? Yeah, it really decrease a lot the presence of this uh, object while keeping uh, it clean. So this is what we have here. And now, okay. so I have a selection. I would like to uh, select nothing select none will only erase all my selection. Okay, great. Now uh, let's see if we want to um, maybe now denoise it still a bit uh, with, uh, I'm going to duplicate it to not have to redo it again, but um, if I want to process with a Gaussian blur, uh, what will it give something like this? 10 would really, really, really be bad on my image. So I'm going to stop on, uh, on this, maybe stay uh, on the uh, median filter again and maybe increase. What's the size? If I put it to 10, what would be the result of this? Yeah, it still decreases some white spots uh, on my, uh, on my uh, soil. And somehow now, if I do the fine edges, I have edges in the middle of the image at least, which are much stronger and much better. And I don't have all, all of these parts, let's say here, have completely disappeared. It means I withdraw the uh, spurious part of the object. Of course, uh, there is a background here, but we could imagine that we would be able to maybe, I don't know, uh, crop the image if we know where the uh, if we know where the um, the the plant uh, is located somehow and you can compare the quality of the two images like this and it's clearly the case that we withdrew some of these edges that were spurious stones in the soil uh, around the around the plant thanks to the denoising of the uh, median filter in this case, which was more adapted because we had spurious noise. So that's it for this uh, video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.